and welcome to this video. Happy New Year. It's great to be back. I hope you're doing well out there today. I've been going through my piles of things that I collected over the past months and I put them all together in these little packets. This one is the one I've decided to take out and work with. I'm going to use these washi tapes with it. I found this little photo album cover when I was going through and organizing all of my old photos and this used to hold photos and I carried it in my wallet. I'm going to be making a journal out of this. These are scraps from other journals and projects. They were all the right colors so they'll be going into this little journal. If you're interested at all in that, I would love to have you follow along and spend a little time with me while I make this journal and just showing you how I went through and what I did to organize. Sometimes, I don't know, maybe this is helpful to see how we all do this differently, but I took things that were of the same color, um, and usually it was something inspiring me, like this tag that came inside of something I purchased, I think, and I thought, well, that's really pretty and would make a nice journal. So I took all my scraps that were that color and I put them in a bag together. So this will be in a future video, making a journal out of that. Um, this was a framed print that I got from the Dollar Tree and I thought, this is a really pretty flower. And so I took apart the frame and put it together with some scraps and some different uh, things that will go nicely with that, like a washi tape box. Um, and somehow that will become a journal. This is a Kleenex box that went really well with, sorry about that noise, but it went really well with this fabric that I got at, I believe, the Dollar Tree. And so it inspired me to um, think about making a journal with these colors. So we'll be doing that in the future. And this was just a project I was working on and haven't finished yet. This is a pack of a whole lot of things that I had found and collected and um, so there will be a journal coming along at some point with these colors and all of this ephemera and this one with purple and sort of um, darker colors. This has some really pretty stuff in it so I'm excited to, to um, dive into making this one at some point and seeing how that turns out. So just sharing this in case you are sitting around with just piles of stuff that you've collected and they're doing more to confuse you than, than inspire you. This really did help me to go through and, and put these things in an organized uh, fashion. And since I did this, I've already started collecting new stuff. So uh, I think this will always be a work in progress of always getting things organized. And so I have all of these that um, will be future videos. So I hope that was a little bit helpful. So now to this one, our project for today. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what all is in here. And I would like to pretty much work with what I have. So this will be my cover. And trying to decide if I want to have it be a journal that flips up this way. Or if I just want to go ahead and do it this way. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of making it like this. I've never done that before. So I think I'll do that and these are all of our bits and pieces that have found their way in that envelope 
So this will become the signatures. I'm gonna keep this pretty simple, just mainly creating the shell, give you some uh, maybe inspiration of, of using up some of your scraps and other little things like this that you might have hanging around your house. So um, let's get started. Well, all right, here we go. How's the weather where you guys are? It is snowing like crazy here. And we have already gotten probably, I don't know, several inches. My husband and I were watching a movie last night and he got a message that his business was closed today. And we looked out and it was crazy how much snow we'd gotten. I'm going to ink the edges of this just a little bit, give it a kind of a distressed look. Just make it look a little older. I was surprised how new it still looks. This thing is probably 20 years old. It was in a protective sleeve, so it kind of kept it looking new. I don't know if you can tell, this is made out of like an embroidery fabric. It's really cute. And this is just a little sort of a plaque type of thing and a couple pieces of paper. Just think that's really cute. So we're gonna take these pieces of paper and just make a little signature. I'm gonna mostly try to just use what I've got, although I may end up having to do some cutting and put some stuff together with washi tape and that's fine. Um, I thought that I would end up putting this little thing in maybe my B journal. I don't know if I will or not, but it's black and white too. Oh, no, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this yet. Just thought I'd show you a quick little kitty cat. She's cozy in her bed. It's a great day for taking a nap, she said. <laughs> And I have this new stamp that I just got, and I'm gonna put this in black ink and then stamp the inside of this. I haven't used this yet. I've been wanting one of these script stamps, and I, this one has really small script. I'm gonna look for one that's got bigger script too. I think I would like to have one like that, but for this one, this is what I've got, so I'm gonna just cover the whole stamp. It's a good size for this little project. Oh well, I hope that's straight enough. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I definitely want to get a bigger script, but uh, for, I like that. I think that's good. So I'm going to let that dry for just a minute. And I have put together a little signature. This is only going to hold one. I'm going to round all these edges and ink all of them too. And... I'm going to decorate the back of this. I found a few little things in my stash that kind of goes. So I'm going to go ahead and, and fix this up and I'll be right back. I've got my signature done and ready to put in when that time comes. So I've just clipped it together to hold it in place. I'm going to set that aside and work on the back cover. And I'm liking this little P 
piece of scrap that was in there. It's a uh, gold, kind of shiny color. And I'm gonna glue that right on there. I think put this little strip across there like that, cut it off and put this little sticker that I found in my stash. As I was mentioning, I found all these little stickers live for today. I really like that. So I'm gonna put that there. And I'm going to put these little arrows on this heart like that and snug it underneath here so it kind of mirrors the front of the journal i'm going to stick all that down and i will be right back i got that on turned out pretty good i like it i alternated the hearts so it kind of I don't know, that seemed to go better than putting it on the same side. And you guys, guess what I did? I put my um, script upside down. So, being this the front of my little journal, and now it's upside down. So, just a little tip about that. And I'm sure you probably would, and I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway, be sure you put it right side up. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, cover most of it up and uh, that's okay. And next time I'll be sure I get it right side up. Uh, but that's what happens, these things, these things happen. And I'm gonna put this on the inside like that. And I think I'm gonna put a little pocket on the back and where I can uh, store a little something in there. Just want to kind of center that right there in the middle. I used a little glue stick, well, a lot of glue stick and just a little bit of tacky glue around uh, the edges and just a little bit in the middle. I have taken my husband's advice. You all that watch my videos, you all are so sweet. You always say the kindest things, but uh, he has definitely told me in no uncertain terms not to use so much glue. And, and so I'm trying to do that. And um, so we'll see how it holds up over time with a little less glue. I'm sure it's going to be fine. This is so cute. It's got its own little washi tape already included in the sticker. How cute is that? And I love the saying, do more of what makes you happy. This makes me happy. Working in my journals and visiting with you here on YouTube. I wish we could be in person and visit together and we could share our supplies and you know we used to do things like that it was a long time ago scrapbooking mostly scrapbooking classes and everybody would share their supplies and spend the day together eating snacks and crafting together we just don't have a lot of that stuff in my we just don't have a lot of that in my area anymore. But I really like spending time with everyone on YouTube. My video shut off on me and I didn't know it. So um, I was just talking away and uh, not recording, but I made them a little pocket here. And um, I decided to do a tag out of the B paper and I had this uh, be yourself sticker so I'm gonna put that there and put my eyelets in uh, my eyelet just one found this ribbon which will I think make a little nice tassel Set that aside for a little bit. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and bind this uh, signature in. And I've been trying to decide, well, not really taking too much time, but I picked out these two 
I was thinking, do I want it to blend right in or do I want it to stand out? I don't know, what do you all do? Do you like your threads to stand out or blend in? Combination of sometimes, I guess it just depends, doesn't it? Um, for this one, I think I'm gonna pick black. Let me know what you would have picked if you would like to let me know. A lot of times I put writing paper on the back of these white pages, but I decided not to do that this time and just leave them blank. It's a small journal and I think that's gonna be fine. Um, I just thought I kinda like them blank in this one. Now I'm going to just lightly embellish this, adding just a few little stickers. I think I'm going to turn this into a little pocket. I'm going to put this sticker on here, which will hold that down there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue there and that'll make a little pocket here. Yeah, I like that. It also helps where I got this a little bit off center with the bottom piece and it makes it look more symmetrical there. And now I have a little pocket there. I like that. I'm gonna do the same thing here, make this a little pocket. got this little tiny printable that I bought off of Etsy, a unicorn. He'll make a cute little pocket. I think I'm going to first put him on this piece of gold paper. And there's another little pocket. Well, I suppose I could go on and on and I've still got pieces here that I can fill in later and make some more, but I just wanted to do the basic, um, putting this together a little bit with you guys and, um, I've enjoyed it. Thank you for giving me the inspiration to do these things and, um, spending the time with me here. And so this is it so far. Just a simple little journal. And it's a little tag. Set it right in here. And for a closure for this one, just a simple string tie is what I'm gonna use. And that'll hold it closed. I like these little journals. I know everyone doesn't, but I think they're great little companions to uh, my bigger journals. And I enjoy them. I enjoy making them. And for all of those of you who also enjoy them, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to thank you so much for being here with me to the end. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.